This video will show you how to use explicit messaging commands to read out and write the entire input and output assembly. Similar to like what's done on the control or compact logics PLC where with the implicit communication, you can read out explicitly the entire data assembly. So you can see we have a basic message set up already here. We're offline with the PLC. So for to for the to read out the entire assembly, you're going to need to set the receive information to 248 bytes, and we're going to receive that to our location here, L11, that we already have set up. Um, the send information is zero. Don't need to send any bytes. And what you need to do for the service is just simply change that to read assembly. So we're going to read the entire assembly. And there will be no the service code will automatically be set. The instance for the CVX series for, is 64. So that will read out the entire uh, output assembly from the CVX into the PLC. So the multi-hap tab is where you would set up the IP address of the controller, C CVX controller. You can see that's already been set up. And uh, we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and close this and download this to the PLC. Yep, and we'll put the PLC in run mode. So we're on online run mode, and we'll go ahead and issue this bit. But before I do that, let me open up the receive area here. So when I issue the command, well, it'll populate this with all the results. Toggle. So you can see it populates the entire, all the data. So all the bit information, and then all the byte information. So anything that you have set up on the CVX side, as far as outputting data and things like that, it'll read out the whole assembly. To write the entire assembly, you just need to set up the message very similar fashion, except this time it'll be write assembly as the service, and the instance will be 65 hex. The size is also 248, but this time it's the send data, so you're going to send 248, and just send it from whatever location that you're using on the PLC. So for this example, it would send from L12, 248 bytes, and it would write the entire assembly. For more information on the allocation of the input and output assembly, you can refer to the CVX user's manual, as you can see here. So here is an example of the input assembly. As you can see here, uh, again, that was, uh, well, the input's hex 64, the output's 65, what I just showed you there, the assembly object. But if you scroll through this manual, you'll see the allocation for all the different uh, bits and bytes. So here's the input assembly. You can see it's got all the tool judgments, uh, some other system bits, and then you have all your their total count, the command results. So this is what you're reading out when you read out the whole assembly. And then uh, on the other side, the output assembly. It's the inputs to the CVX, so like the triggers, trigger bits, external test reset, and then all the command numbers and command parameters if you're going to write that. So all the information about the input and output assembly can be found in the CVX user's manual.